Hey friends, in this episode we head down to York Peninsula to test out the new kayaks and maybe have a cheeky little flick. We didn't get much, except a little snack. We loaded up the squidmobile and dropped the little one off at doggy daycare, then took off down the hill. You always gotta be careful when traveling through the Adelaide Hills because there is often some drunkard meandering in the middle of the road, oblivious to the metal death machines we all drive. Hey buddy! What are you doing mate? Buddy drunk in the middle of the day. We hit York Peninsula in no time and headed towards our campsite. Always watch out for the little critters that enjoy warming up in the hot roads. Too many of them get mashed by oblivious drivers. We got to our campsite at Rewalty Beach, staked out a secluded spot and set up camp. What are you doing? After fueling up with a delicious kangaroo stew and a couple of eggs from the backyard, not my backyard mind you, but someone's, Quinn decided to have a cheeky flick from the beach. The wind, however, was angry this day, my friends, and wind be a harsh mistress. I, I can tell you that much for free. No one's gonna hear a goddamn thing because of this wind. All this camera is picking up is station! So with the wind against us and the sun setting, we decided to hit the sack, then go to bed. We started the next day the Chuvu way, heavily caffeinated. All right, we're off to Stansbury. Why are we going to Stansbury? Well, we were just on the, on the west coast earlier. It was a bit too choppy to launch the kayaks and there was a fair bit of wind coming in. So we were casting into the wind, we weren't getting far enough out. So I reckon if we go to the east coast, the wind will be going out. That's probably how wind works. Uh, that doesn't sound right, but I don't know enough about wind to dispute it. So let's test that theory. Yeah, we'll put that theory to the test. We'll see who's right. We got to Stansbury in no time, but unfortunately there was not enough evidence to prove nor disprove our wind hypothesis. So while Quinn was having a cheeky flick pulling in annoying trumpeters, I was out looking for razorfish to use as burly and crab bait, much to the dismay of many seafood buffs who freak out when they see you using razorfish as burly in lieu of eating them. <laughs> With the wind being a bit smelly and us gagging to launch the kayaks, we headed to Hardwick Bay on the west coast, hoping the bay would shield us from the wind a little bit. And it did! Looks like we know a thing or two about wind after all. <laughs> Barely even paddled, I'm getting pulled out to see here. <laughs> I don't know why Tom Hanks had such a hard time getting off that fucking island. Idiot. Oh, that's illegal. There you go. <laughs> what do you got there, honey? <laughs> Papa fish. <laughs> Bud. All right, better luck next time. <laughs> hey! Any more puffer fish? Not yet. Oh, there we go. Hey! Nice, baby. Get them in. Another one. What do you got this time, baby? Another puppy? Pull him in, pull him in. Oh, he's a big puffer. To our surprise, it was not another puffer fish, but a sweet fish. People often catch these by mistake and throw them back, but if they are over 24 centimeters, you can keep them, and they are actually very tasty. However, as the tide was coming in fast and our car was parked on the sand, we had to head back to shore before we got bogged. Although we didn't catch much in the way of food on this trip, our main aim was to bust out our brand new kayaks and scout for future fishing locations, which we did successfully. I must say I am a huge fan of the Primal Titan. She is a beast and handles rough tides and rips quite well. Every time the camera comes up. 
Jones on fucking Heath Ledger, bro. <laughs> Truism of the day. Heath Ledger, a very sincere Australian compliment. A combination of Ledjo, Australian slang for legend, and Heath Ledger, an Australian Ledjo. Sample sentence. Mate, that kangaroo you cooked last night was fucking sick, eh? You're a bloody Heath Ledger, mate. There's only one way to find out, man, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. Ledjo. Oh, babe, look, I found a treasure chest. What's in there? Fucking oh. treasure, mate. Oh. Oh, do you reckon these eggs are still good? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a frosty boy. Nice. Oh, yeah. hmm. oh well earned. Well earned. Oh, I mean, we didn't really do shit, but... I caught four fish, mate. Yeah, puff of fish and trumpeters. And a little sweep. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you that one. After scaling and gutting the sweep, we added a few herbs and spices and fried the little fella up for a cheeky afternoon snack. Job, babe. So with the day and our trip coming to an end, there was nothing left to do but enjoy a beautiful southern sunset. We didn't catch a lot on this trip, but we did get away from the hustle and bustle of sitting around the house playing Uncharted 4. And that's what it's all about, soaking in a bit of nature. Also, because we didn't really fish much on this trip, we decided to do what we usually do after a relatively quiet fishing trip, and that is to pop into our local freshwater spot on the way home to score a cheeky redfin. <laughs> Thanks for watching, friends. Be sure to subscribe and all that jazz. Check out churu.com if you want to buy some of our chili sauce, and uh, you know, get out there every now and then, have a bit of fun. Babe, yeah. you, you reckon I was, I was right about that wind theory? There's no earthly way of knowing, Jacob. Technology hasn't, hasn't been invented yet. Yeah, it's, it's in the hands of Aeolus now. I don't, I don't know who that is, but um, like when we went to Stansbury, it was blowing the other way. Was it? Wasn't it? No. I don't know shit about wind.